For years, office.com has been the place I've started my day. It was my go-to location to open my files, jump into team meetings, or even pick up where I left off in Word or Excel. If you're anything like me, it became second nature to use the office.com dashboard. But get this, that familiar dashboard we've all relied on? Well, now it's been transformed into something entirely new, the Microsoft 365 Copilot Experience. And it isn't just a cosmetic change, it's a new home for Microsoft 365. It has new Copilot capabilities, a brand new fresh interface, and yes, a completely redesigned way of navigating your daily work. And that of course means things have moved and things have changed. And if you're opening up for the very first time, you might be wondering, well, where's all of my stuff gone? Well, don't worry, because in this tutorial, we're diving straight into what's new, what's changed, but more importantly, where can you now find all those familiar tools and settings you used every day for the past few years? And by the end of this video, you'll not only feel at home again, but you'll now be ready to take advantage of some brand new Copilot capabilities and find out what this new Copilot experience has to offer. So let's dive in and find out what's new. So welcome to new Copilot experience. You can browse to it on the web, go into m365.cloud.microsoft, or as you may have already noticed, browse into office.com redirects you to this new experience. Yes, sadly the old office.com homepage is no more. All of those features we used previously are wrapped up in this new experience. And that's a great place to start. So first off, on the left hand side, you'll see there is no app launcher. This is also what I used to call the waffle, the ability to get back to your apps quickly by selecting the waffle. This time, however, we can then repin all of our apps. Let's head down to the new option for apps by left clicking and you'll see your apps at the top of the screen. You can access any of these by selecting one of the apps and it'll open inside of a web browser tab. But that doesn't resolve our question. How can we get back to it in our new Copilot experience quickly on the web? Well, simply hover over any of the app icons here and right click. Now select Pin. And you can do this for all of the apps that you used previously and want quick access to for this new Copilot experience. As we can see, I've added Word, Excel and Outlook onto this left hand navigation bar. That now means I have quick access to these apps the next time it access Copilot through the web or via office.com, we can now go ahead and left click these to open the different apps using the web versions. You can also do that with any of the apps you want quick access to inside of this new experience. It's definitely helpful to know to get back to your apps quickly, now we don't have access to the waffle or the app launcher. But importantly, what if you now also need to install Office on your computer? In office.com, it's quite easy to get to, but for this apps menu, you'll see on the right hand side, you can now install apps from this button here and install the Microsoft 365 apps to your local computer. So that's the new home for installing apps on your computer at home or at work. You need to reinstall them. You won't find them from the default chat page inside of Copilot. But in addition, there's also settings that you may want to change. You'll now find these options with your name in the bottom left. By left clicking, you can now go into your Microsoft 365 profile or view your account or even change an account if you want to sign in with different work or school account. In addition, clicking the freed up menu and select settings, you can now change the appearance of this experience. Maybe you want to use dark mode or go back to the normal light mode or just use and follow your system settings. So you can make that change very quickly to this new experience. By closing this out here, you also have the ability on the left hand side to look at other options. In office.com, the normal homepage would take us to a search box, and that now is found under the search option. We can now select the search box here and search for files you've worked with or people as well. Let's go ahead and select Alex, one of my colleagues, and this now will bring information back on Alex, his contact information, recent content he's worked with, messages that we've shared in Outlook and Teams, and who also Alex works with. That's a very quick way to find details on your colleagues. You can also very quickly message them in Microsoft Teams or send them an email using these options here. But also, maybe you want to search for a particular file. I'll head back into the search box 
and then we'll search for the words Project Green Space. And this now will bring up the relevant results for any content that I've worked with in Project Green Space. SharePoint sites, documents, and more, all now accessible. We can once again select a file type, or we can click on All Sources. We can also look across different apps. This is much the same as what we used before in Office.com. And now that's all accessible through this search option on the left hand side of your navigation bar. Now if all of these co-pilot changes have you thinking, I'm not sure where to start Scott, you're not alone. That's exactly why I created the Microsoft 365 Copilot Masterclass here at Your 365 Coach. Our Copilot Masterclass takes you beyond the basics, helping you understand how to use AI across Outlook, Word, Excel and more and how to prompt Copilot effectively to save time and get much better results. So whether you're just starting out or looking to master Copilot, this course is your shortcut. Why not check it out on our website linked below and let's help you turn Copilot into your daily productivity sidekick. Now, let's dive back in to these Copilot changes. And there's also new capabilities delivered using this new experience. This will also include a new agent store. By clicking the drop down for agents, you'll see all the agents you've recently worked with, but select the option for all agents to be taken to new agent store. Think of this like an app store, particular for agents in Microsoft 365. But do be aware that some agents are only available to you if you have a paid Microsoft 365 Copilot license. But this new experience is now gonna have more options. We can even see featured agents from different third parties and also the potential ability to have access to other agents that have been shared with you or agents you've created. So we can certainly see the future of the agent store. You can also quickly create an agent by selecting the option here to be taken into Copilot Studio. Once again, it will depend on your licensing model to what type of agent you can create, but you now have quick access to create new agents. But how do we start a new conversation? While selecting the chat option, it's actually the default home page when you access this new experience. And here, as we can see, we got some suggested prompts. By selecting one of these and then sending it into Copilot, we'll get a response back. You'll also see there are two options at the top of your screen, work and web. Now this will depend on your licensing model. If you have a paid Microsoft 365 Copilot license with access to your work content, you'll see a work tab. If not, you won't see this tab at all and it will default to the web version, therefore using information found on the web. But the work tab also now allows me to work with my emails, files and more by selecting work and asking what's new in my inbox and sending that across to Copilot will now have my last 10 emails summarized very handily for me to get back to quickly. And what about past conversations with your Copilot chat? By left clicking this option here, You'll be able to open any of existing conversations with Copilot and get back to them really quickly. But how can we now create Copilot pages? Here's a past prompt that we just created with our Copilot. Selecting the pages icon on the left hand side, we can now select editing pages to create a new Copilot page. This of course can be edited and shared with others using the same underlying technology that powers Microsoft Loop. But as your pages are now created, you may also want to take it into different apps. For example, this is a set of text. Maybe I want to take it into Microsoft Word. Well, now you'll find an option in the top right, Open in Word. It'll now take the Copilot content and open it inside the app, now allowing us to take Copilot content into an app that more suits the response. You can now make changes and share it, and that's outside of a Copilot page. Heading back into our Copilot experience though, to access any of your Copilot pages, we can go ahead and then close down the Copilot page button. Under the Pages option on the left hand side, you can get back to your Copilot pages really quickly and also work with Copilot once again on the left hand side. You'll also find new options. There's a new technology called Copilot Notebooks, accessible if you have a Microsoft 365 paid Copilot license that allows us to bring together all of your different AI powered content in handy notebooks you can get back to quickly and summarize. If we'll look at this in a future tutorial, so don't forget to subscribe to find that tutorial and take advantage of Copilot notebooks. You'll also find a create button on the left. 
and this will depend on your licensing model to what you can create. If you have a paid Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you'll be able to create content like video or imagery, whereas if you don't have a paid license, you'll be limited to a set of templates you can also make changes to. For example, let's design a poster for Project Green Space. By selecting the option and then describing the poster I'd like to create, we can go ahead and create something really professional. So in my prompt added to design a poster around the launch of the community initiative for Project Green Space, we can also select the brand and colors. We could create our own brand kits that we could also reuse, but I'll select these colors here. Select create, and now with the power of what we used to use Microsoft Designer for, we'll now begin to create a new poster for our project. It's all powered through the create tab. And there we go, four posters created, which we can now also edit and download and use for our upcoming launch of the project with the community. I like this image here, so let's go ahead and download it to my local computer. Or I could even copy it to use it maybe in a PowerPoint or a Word document. And as you mentioned, selecting edit takes us into the designer experience to make adjustments to it. This is all powered through that Create tab in the new Copilot experience. And when you're finished, just go ahead and click on the M365 Copilot icon in the top left of this new experience to be taken back into the chat experience for Copilot. You now know how to use a new Copilot experience, the new options available to you, and we're also going to dig deeper into these new capabilities in the very near future. So why don't you hit the subscribe button to take advantage of these new capabilities rolling out in this new Copilot experience. But as always, I'd love to know, what are your first impressions of this new Copilot experience replacing the old office.com dashboard? Have you found any new features that you now love or do you miss from the old office.com experience? Why not let me know in the comments so you can also share it with the wider community here. And if this video has helped you out, why not give it a thumbs up or a like? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a chance to level up with the tools you already have available for you today. So other than that, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.